figuring out new ways to do art, um, that's really important to me because um, art is what I do and I think um, it's important to just keep doing it. A pair of brilliantly colored stained glass windows will be unveiled at Trinity United Church on Sunday morning. They depict an arc and rainbow of hope and a tree of life reaching for heaven. But they may be the last colorful creation that their designer, artist Beth Jenkin, will be able to fully see. Her vision is quickly fading because of a genetic condition called retinitis pigmentosa. She's now imagining how the congregation who came together to help her complete the design and volunteered untold hours to build them, see them lit up for the first time. Just, wow. Like, I feel really, really blessed that um, they asked me to help design the windows and it's just a real nice piece of light in my life. During the process of creating the windows, um, my prognosis was difficult, but um, through working creatively and um, also through uh, the community and uh, the members of Trinity and the people on the stained glass committee who came together to help me finish the um, process. Um, that was incredibly helpful. It's very welcoming and I feel right at home here. Jenkin has an emotional connection to her work. With my eyes it's been a journey. Um, it's not over yet but through working on the stained glass windows um, and expressing myself um, in a visual way um, that really helped me and also just realizing how precious light is um, I had to think a lot about light and the symbolism of the windows in connection with the church and um, that really helped me uh, process what I was going through. For the Ottawa Sun, I'm Megan Gillis.